Hello YouTube, it's uh, Paul coming at you. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but uh, yeah. In my ongoing series of cooking. Um, I, I'm going to attempt a Hasselback potato. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of them, but uh, they look amazing. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a try. I have to say uh, one thing, you know, pre-2020, I probably wasn't very adventurous uh, cooking. Uh, you know, maybe that's the second thing, I, or maybe the third thing I'm thankful for that 2020 happened. Uh, got to meet all of you, you know, uh, and then, uh, you know, started looking after myself a little bit better. And then, uh, yeah also started uh, being a little more adventurous uh, cooking so um, but yeah the Hasselback potato so get amongst it I didn't notice this whatever the hell that is so according to the interwebs I should probably ideally you would you would cut like a chunk off the bottom of the potato so you can do your knife work but yeah, I'll attempt it. No, no high hopes, but you know, unlike uh, the Frank Sinatra song. Let's see if that what that gives me. I got rid of whatever the heck that was. So ideally, I'll take out some of these eyes because as much fun as it is to eat potato eyes. But yeah, so I got time because I'm at work. Uh, you know, a lot of the time I get paid for what I know, not what for what I do. Um, <laughs> the job we're on, things aren't going well. So basically I babysit a crane. been a while since I've, I can't remember the last time I actually grabbed a potato to mess with it. Usually I have people for that. Maybe when I was a kid. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, end this here and while I deal with these eyes and fast forward when I'm uh, a little further ahead. So I got these two potatoes cleaned up and now the magic of a Hasselback. Ideally I'd have something to uh, hold these like wooden spoons or something. Um, but you just cut, you know, a couple of millimeters. Don't cut all the way through. I'm not really too sure about my knife work here, but. But yeah, there you have it. You get the idea as I go along. I might cut a little too deep there, but. So yeah, so you get something like this. Uh, I was watching the IRP tonight. Uh, I'm gonna take a suggestion from uh, Michael, this film not yet rated. Might do one with like a garlic, because I got some garlic puree. And do the other just olive oil and salt. But yeah, you sort of get the idea. And 
back off how deep I cut it here. And yeah, so that's sort of what it's like. So I'll do the other one and uh, once again, come back when I've uh, progressed a little. Okay, well, I've got my, their, their trim, you know, not all the way through. Um, yeah, so they're all sort of, oops, it's one that's not quite, I got the other potato, but yeah, the idea is you cut them like that. And some of my cuts here, just so it can fan out, almost like a chip, but it's all attached at the bottom. Um, another great thing about the internet, you can just find recipes and so there we have it. Uh, just going to put a little olive oil on these before I throw them in. Excuse uh, the well testers, just updating us on pressures and yeah, I'm just going to get a little olive oil on here. Uh, yeah. Maybe a lot of olive oil. Let's help these crisp up. funny you know can imagine using like a rubber whatever this is but knowing that tonight I was coming back to where something where I wasn't gonna do very much I thought I've always wanted to try these so yeah, I think that's good enough So yeah, I'll go into the air fryer, uh, once again, not my first choice of uh, cooking implements, but i got to use what I got. Those are all oiled up, and there's no not olive oil all over the place, so that's a win. Eh, maybe I'll throw a crack of Himalayan pink salt, because that's all I got. Throw a crack of that on, and into the air fryer it goes. And I'll come back in a bit. So, welcome back to YouTube. It's uh, been half an hour. Um, here along on the IRP this evening. Um, I've invariably like the food. So this is what they look like. That's a half hour, about 400 degrees, just oil and whatever. Uh, but yeah, the IRP. Michael, uh, this film not yet rated, uh, suggested uh, doing these with maybe a little, uh, I'm just going to separate these just so that they don't. Try like a butter, a garlic, Based and I'm gonna give that a try on one potato. I'm gonna do one just as a control, just a olive oil and salt. Uh, sometimes less is more, but uh, I think this will be my control. I mean, I think about cooking, and I find some of my best endeavors have been accidents and little Bob Ross, you know, happy little accidents. Ouch, that's hot. But yeah, it's kind of like a precursor to potato chips, I guess. I don't know. So just a little more oil. Just try and get in between there. Uh, this one I'll do 
olive oil, as well as some uh, garlic. And because I can and I have it, I got a little, a little bit of Parmesan cheese I'll throw on top. You know, kick it up a notch to uh, steal the line from Emerald Lassi. I don't know if you all remember him. Bam. Um, I don't know that I've always liked cooking, but some of my fondest memories are around food, so I'm just going to get some more of this stuff in there. Not sure how well this is going to go, but and get into those cracks and get that oily goodness. Oh, Ta -da. and then yeah, I'll hit them again with a little more. Uh, a little more salt. Let's see what that does for us here. Kind of want to just make sure that I get in everywhere with the oil. So yeah, I'll do one as a control. right like I could sit here at work staring at my phone not doing much of anything else I drive myself crazy or look at eBay but well, instead let's uh let's uh, practice cooking so I'll do that Give this one a little au gratin, a little Parmesan cheese. I mean, this isn't the good stuff, it's the powdered. But we'll see how it comes out. So, there you have it, things are basted. I'm gonna grab my oven mitts, which are pair of glove liners that would become the, the oven mix for us. And toss that back in for another, oh, I don't know, half hour. See what happens. So, we'll get back at you in a bit here. Well, I forgot to hit record when I pulled these out of the oven, or the air fryer. Right, just uh, olive oil and uh, Himalayan salt. The one on the, or sorry, the one on the left. It's just olive oil. The one on the right, a little crispier. It's got the garlic, butter, uh, and a little Parmesan cheese. So just uh, waiting for the steak to come out. So here we have it, uh, plated. Got my steak. Um, this is the one that was just uh, olive oil and salt. And I'm a big fan of how it turned out. This one with the uh, with the garlic butter. Right idea. Maybe you should add the garlic butter later. Like, give it a little bit. But yeah, you see it just peels off. That's pretty decent. I'm impressed. So uh, there you have it. Hasselback potatoes. Uh, garlic butter with a little Parmesan cheese. 
not bad. Uh, big fan of the, just the olive oil and salt. Uh, plus, I, you know, think I got a medium steak. But, uh, you know, but really, the secret ingredient, it's love. And by love, I mean, like, the type you clean up with a mop and bucket. Throw back to the Bloodhound gang. So there you have it. As Ed Wesker Griff says, uh, get amongst it, y'all.